Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be talking about how you can prepare your skin for your wedding or any other important events in your life. With all the energy that comes into planning a wedding, from finding a perfect dress to finding a great venue, sometimes it's easy to really forget and overlook the fact that taking care of our skin, that looking flawless and having your skin in tip-top shape should be one of your top priorities as well. To help you avoid any last-minute beauty fiascos, I prepared the ultimate wedding beauty timeline for you from all the product and treatment recommendations to what you should or shouldn't do right before your big day. I'm sharing all my tips and beauty secrets with you and even if you are not a bride but you are generally interested into how you can supercharge your skincare regimen, this video is for you as well, so I hope you all continue watching. Looking radiant and picture perfect for your wedding day takes some planning and takes a lot of work and consistency and sometimes it can take months of work and planning. So it's best to start as early as you can and at least eight to six months prior to your wedding day. It's okay if you don't have that much time, just incorporate the tips I will give you as soon as you can and be very consistent. Getting an even complexion and that bridal glow is one of the most important things you should do for your wedding day. If you spend like most of your teens or early 20s basking in the sun, chances are you have some sort of discoloration on your face or you have dark spots that are showing or if you have discoloration because of the acne or maybe your skin is just very dull and lackluster because you are stressed out, you're tired, you're working. So eight to six months prior to your wedding is a good time to target those concerns. And one of the best ways to do so is to incorporate a daily serum with a high concentration of vitamin C. Vitamin C is a powerful antioxidant that will help you achieve radiance, it also improves skin texture and it helps to fade away those dark spots and discoloration and it also helps to minimize some fine lines and wrinkles and it also works to protect your skin from additional damage that your skin is daily exposed to due to pollution and other free radicals. And I want to share with you two of my favorite vitamin C serums that are very potent and very powerful and will help you achieve that healthy bridal glow. So the first one is the one from Drunk Elephant. It's called C Therma Day Serum. It contains 15% solution of very potent antioxidants, including L-ascorbic acid, which is the name for vitamin C. It helps with loss of firmness and it helps fighting environmental stressors. It targets those and even areas on our face so use it daily every morning after you wash your face before your moisturizer and another great option for vitamin c serum is the one from kiehl's and it's a new product which is called powerful strength line reducing concentrate it also has a very high concentration of vitamin c and hyaluronic acid and some of you might know kiehl's is actually a pioneer in vitamin c skincare so they really know what they are doing. Um, it's a very strong and potent serum. Exfoliation is another great important step to help you fade away any dark spots and also to help you achieve that healthy glow. As dead skin cells accumulate on your face, they also interfere with light reflection. So this may also contribute to that very dull and lackluster skin. So you need to incorporate some products that will exfoliate and shred away any dead skin cells on your skin and also exfoliation facilitates um, the absorption of the serums or any other products that you use and it reveals a new healthy skin underneath. So what I would advise is to have a stronger solution to exfoliate your skin twice a week after you gradually get used to it and then use a product that will exfoliate your skin on a daily basis that it's a bit more mild and one of my favorite products to do so is the one by Caudalie 
and it's called the Concentrated Brightening Essence. So basically it does both, it brightens your skin but it also exfoliates it, so it helps to remove those dead skin cells and it features um, the glycolic acid and glycolic acid is basically the tool uh, that will help you remove those dead skin cells to reveal a younger, brighter skin, so I would always use it every morning after I clean my face prior to the serum. So really supercharge the radiance to give your skin a very nice boost. Pixies Beauty Glow Tonic, I'm there in the form of pads, just as I have it right now, or, or just a toner solution, is also a great way to exfoliate your skin daily. You can just use one pad to clean your face and also get rid of any like makeup residue or a sweat or build up of foundation. So that's also a great product to add to your daily skincare regimen. And it also contains the glycolic acid. So those two are great to be used every day as a way to mildly exfoliate your skin. But as I prior mentioned, it's also great to incorporate something that's stronger on a weekly or bi-weekly basis that will really act as a serious agent in helping to get rid of that skin cells that are blocking our way to radiance. And one of the top products that I absolutely love to use is the one by Drunk Elephant and it's called the TLC Sukari Baby Facial. So it's a very powerful product that contains AHA and BHA acids to really get into those dead skin cells, to dissolve them and to reveal a younger looking radiant skin. And for something that's slightly more gentle than the TLC product um, and for someone who has a very like sensitive skin I would suggest using the Pixie peel and polish product um, it's an enzyme peel so it's slightly milder and you can just use it two to three times a week and it will also help to resurface your face and for someone who also has a very sensitive skin and cannot tolerate that many of acids and high potent concentrations, I really find that the Pathology Milk Peel is ideal. It's very gentle, so you just put the mask on your face once a week to help speed up the cell turnover and to very gently dissolve those dead skin cells and also brighten up without any irritation. 8 to 6 months it's a great time to really experiment with your skincare because you still have time in case god forbid you have a reaction or you don't like the regimen you are introducing so that's a perfect time to try incorporating different treatments and different products into your skincare to find products that are working great and well with your skin so you know come your big day you won't get any irritation you won't get any reaction and while you're experimenting with your skincare it's also a great time to add a powerful nighttime serum to your night beauty routine. And Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair is one of the best options. So it's a very powerful um, nighttime renewal for radiant and youthful um, looking skin. And it helps with skin regeneration during the sleep and it also intensely moisturizes and hydrates. So try this one at night, every night, be consistent. Or another great product I swear by, it's again by Drunk Elephant. This one is a glycolic night serum. So it helps with all the concerns that you might have, whether they are pores or whether they are wrinkles or some uneven skin texture. This will fight this as well. Now, as you incorporated all those powerful nighttime serums, you should also think about some facial creams, some powerful nighttime creams you want to add to your skincare regimen as well. And one of the options that you can try using that I currently like and I currently use is the one from Pilliani. I discovered it during one of the events I attended in the city. I just tried it then and I just got so hooked up. <laughs> it's a very revitalizing, nourishing, replenishing cream. And the moment you put it on, you just get that beautiful radiance and it doesn't irritate the skin at all. It doesn't cause any breakouts for me. Like sometimes with me, it's really hard to find a good nighttime powerful and rich cream because uh, my skin is prone to breakouts from the powerful skincare ingredients. And this one doesn't cause any breakouts, which is like so amazing for me. Another very, very serious option if you want to help with skin firmness is the one by Babor. 
and it's called the collagen cream rich it's super rich it's like so emollient but it's also like very very powerful so if your skin is in a desperate need of moisture of renewal of nourishment this should be like your go-to product because of the richness and of the powerful collagen boosting formula and also like don't forget about your under eye area that's the area that shows the signs of aging pretty fast so also be sure to try a few eye creams and eye serums um, underneath the eyes incorporate them into your daily morning and nighttime routine and again i really like the one by babor it's actually super fun because you get your eye cream for day and eye cream for night so those are like different film formulations that one is best designed for day care and the one for night care and you just get it in, in like this cool packaging i also like the soothing cream from clarity and this one helps with the appearance of dark circles puffiness and fine lines so just use it during the day and also just as with your face if you really want to target the area use an eye serum first and then follow with an eye cream one of the best serums i really like is the one from drunk elephant it's called shaba complex eye serum it really helps to tackle all the signs of aging underneath our eyes like puffiness fine lines wrinkles those circles so it helps rejuvenate your under eye area so apply it first and then just follow with your regular eye cream and also like for powerful eye treatment for underneath your eyes this one with retinol from clark's botanicals is a good option use it at night as you see a lot of those products that i mentioned they contain those active agents those acids so they are the ones that are brightening your skin exfoliating your skin so with that it's really really important to use a sunscreen every day if you are on a regimen that has acids if you are on a regimen with all those powerful ingredients you really really need to use sunscreen rain or shine every single day in the morning before you even leave your house so just use any sunscreen that you have that at least has an spf of 30 and one of my favorites is the one by color science it's a mineral sunscreen so it's a great option just as you are experimented with your nighttime creams do the same with your morning creams be sure to find the one that you love that works amazing with your skin that doesn't cause any breakouts and to give you some options of my current favorites um, i really love the lme's pro collagen marine cream what's great about it it has an spf 30 included so as i mentioned spf is very important so this one has it and it really helps with skin firmness with the hydration and it works amazingly underneath the makeup as you know i'm also a big fan of the squalene gel moisturizer from biosense i use it a lot because i know that no matter what this won't irritate my kind of sensitive skin and if your skin is in a desperate need of like huge hydration i would recommend trying the belief aqua bomb cream which provides tons and tons of hydration and moisture or if your skin is very oily and you really want to help mattifying it try using the new mattifying hydrator from dr brand it's a great product to help with excessive oiliness so try this one and this toner from korean beauty it's a great way for those struggling with oily skin to balance the skin it has the perfect pH level so apply it first before the mattifying cream and your skin should get a little bit more balanced than it is now if your area of concern is big pores um, clarity has a great pore perfecting solution so it contains salicylic acid and salicylic acid is an amazing way to help get into those blackheads to help clear them out in addition to using all those powerful products if you have bigger budget you can think about getting some professional treatments from your local aesthetician or your local dermatologist and six to eight months it's again a great time to start getting those treatments regularly to see the difference to see what works and what doesn't work for you and for me i'm for example a huge fan of microneedling if your budget permits i would advise getting some microneedling treatments because of the way microneedling really helps with boosting your collagen with the texture of your skin and really with improving the appearance of pores of blemishes of discoloration and basically it helps even everything out and it basically works by punching your face with tons of needles 
in order to provoke it to renew and heal itself and this healing process is what we want <laughs> because the skin then regenerates itself so if you can inquire about microneedling with your local dermatologist see what other options she has or she can offer you like something more even drastic is like getting your lasers that's a great way to improve the overall texture of your skin is to getting some sort of laser like fraxel or i know brights come at an age and if your concern are those um, crow's feet that are showing off around your eye area or you see the forehead lines it might be a good time to consider getting a botox if god forbid you don't like the results you're seeing or you don't like the experience your skin will get back to normal by the time it's your wedding and or if you do end up liking the effects of botox you can get it like a month or two months before the wedding so as it will help with your concerns all right now let's move on to what you should do three months before your wedding so if you've been slacking on your skincare, now it's really a serious time to start incorporating a very strict skincare regimen. You need to cleanse your skin, never go to sleep with makeup on, so cleanse your skin very thoroughly. Use toner to target any areas of your concern and moisturize every day and also exfoliate. You had the chance to find what's working for your skin, what's not. So now it's the time to really be very serious, to start incorporating everything you loved from what you tried and be very consistent with it. Three months before your wedding is also a great time to test drive a spray tan to see if you like it. It's also a good time to brighten your teeth. So think about that. There are some great at home brightening devices, brightening regimens, toothpaste that you can use. And also since beauty starts from within, it's also a great time to really think about your diet, start to incorporate a very nutritious and green rich meal plan into your daily diet. So green smoothies, oh my gosh, they make such a big difference. It's also a good time to really be very active and to try some fitness plans. Movement being active helps with circulation, with your blood circulation. And if your blood is circulating the right way, it hits all the important vessels in your body including the face and it also gives you a nicer glow because your skin gets better oxygen it gets better circulation so you just appear healthier okay what you should do a month before your wedding don't test anything new <laughs> that's number one rule don't try any other regimen any other new product a month before your wedding because god forbid you have an irritation you get a reaction sometimes it takes a few weeks to heal depending on how bad it is just do what you know is working for you and continue doing that continue getting your mild exfoliation continue using all the products that you hand selected hand picked months before and just be on the very good track for two weeks before your wedding, I would start getting very serious about that beautiful brighter glow. So in addition to everything that you're using, I would incorporate those glow booster ampoules from Bubble. So it's like a very concentrated vitamin C glow treatment to really help with that radiance and that glow. So I would just start using one ampoule every day prior to my wedding day to really blind everyone as I walk on the aisle. <laughs> so now it's a week before your wedding. <laughs> You're probably very stressed out. You are probably not getting enough sleep because of the stress. It's just so many things you need to take care of. And now it's the time to really chill. <laughs> And if you by any chance see any reaction on your skin, talk to your derm so she or he can give you like a cortisone treatment just in case like you got like this very nasty breakout because of the stress or something hormonal in your bridal beauty kit. Have that cortisone product, something that will fight inflammation fast. And also if your skin gets irritated or if because of the stress or you have some sort of flare-ups, it's um, great to have a product that is a very soothing product that will help 
with that irritation. What works for me many times if I feel like my skin is just so stressed out are soothing sleep overnight masks. And one of my favorite masks that I know won't cause any reaction to my skin is the one from Lanergy. It's a water sleeping mask, so it's like a nice boost of hydration and moisture on your face, but it's also very soothing and it's calming. And I know that when I apply it at night, I wake up and my skin is very relaxed. Um, it's hydrated and it's not that irritated. Another great soothing mask I like is the one from Korean Beauty and it's available at Soko Glam. It's a soothing gel mask, so again, you just apply it on and it's very great for sensitive skin. Two days before, again, no experiments, but that's a pretty good time to do your spray tan if you decided to move forward with the spray tan. A night before. First things first, remove your entire makeup completely if you really need to wear it the day before. I always advise my brides not to wear any makeup a day before, but if you have other celebrations or last minute things and you, you are wearing your makeup the day before, just be sure to remove it thoroughly at night because you don't want to wrap your eyes on the day of the wedding and also you don't want your makeup artist to get in between those lashes and try removing any black leftover eyeliner or mascara that you have because it might cause some sort of um, irritation, it might cause some sort of redness so you are better off removing it yourself at night with the solution that's trusted by you so as when you wake up your skin and your eyes are a perfect canvas for the person that will come and do your makeup. And I know it's hard, but try to get as much sleep as you can. And also don't forget to think about really moisturizing not only your entire face, but also your lips. Like try pathology lip service, it's like a bone treatment. So put a big layer the night before on your lips. So when you wake up, your lips are very nice, soft, and ready to just basically kiss that groom. <laughs> All right, the morning off. Congratulations, you made it to your big day. And all you have to do now is smile and try not to cry. <laughs> but aside from that, all jokes aside, um, there are a few ways you can do to kind of prepare your face for makeup application. So as once you're there with your beauty squad, your face is nice and clean. So again, clean your face in the morning with something gentle. Um, add a toner that you always like to kind of revitalize and bring balance to your face and follow with your regular moisturizer. But if you, for example, do end up not really sleeping the night before, which obviously happens, just think about like quick fixes, quick fix treatments and products that you can use. And for this, I always recommend for my brides to try their rejuvenating eye gels from Pathology because they contain caffeine. So it helps to wake up your eyes. Uh, and they also contain some soothing and hydrating ingredients to give that white awake and restful look to your under eye area. So just apply the patches underneath as you are like waking up and then you can follow with a light time open eyes from this work so it's basically an eye treatment that helps to give that wide awake eyes look so it's also like brightening it helps to deep puff it's revitalizing so just prepare your eyes for makeup application and just remember to breathe and be calm as much as you can i know it's stressful but deep breathing will help with oxygen coming around your body and will also help you remain more calm. That's pretty much it for this video. I hope it was helpful. If anything wasn't clear, just let me know in the comments below. I'm happy to help. I'm happy to provide more guidance and more assistance to you. Aside from skincare, there are a few things that you might want to consider as part of your beauty regimen for the bridal day so also like think about your hair curl book your makeup and hair appointments your trials at least three months prior and also eyebrow shaping be sure to have a good person that takes care of your brows correctly so as you don't need to stress out that your brows are uneven or you're getting some sort of reaction from the wax or laser hair removal treatment that's a good um, treatment as well again i hope that was helpful and thank you so much for watching all the best to all the brides to be <laughs> and i see you very soon bye bye